Hello, this is Zeus of Toy Olympus, and in this video, let's take a look at Bandai Namco Shadow Super Kyoryu Sentai Zero Ranger set released in 2022. Before we begin, if you've been here before, I would like to thank you for watching my review of the retro morphin figures from Hasbro that I uploaded months ago. I appreciate the views and your support. But if you haven't watched it yet, you can click the link on this video or the link in the description. In 2013, SH Figure Arts released Dragon Ranger and Tyranno Ranger. Then, the other four were released as Tamashi Web exclusives. So, if you want to get fully possible Zoo Ranger figures, they're the best options. Or, you can settle with the retro figures from way, way back. But not anymore! Shadow Super is a line of 4-inch Super Sentai candy toy figures. This set comes with all 6 Zoo Rangers and most of their weapons in the show. The box art features them in their group poses. The sides feature close-ups of the 6 Rangers. And the back features pictures of the weapons and accessories. Now, you might be thinking, why am I calling these Power Rangers Zoo Ranger? Well, Power Rangers is an adaptation of the long-running Super Sentai franchise in Japan. It started with Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in 1993, the American adaptation of Zoo Rangers. Kyoryu Sentai Zoo Ranger is the 16th entry of the Super Sentai series that aired in Japan, a year before MMPR's debut. Unlike Power Rangers that features teenagers with attitude, this series follows a group of ancient warriors from five tribes who were awakened from their deep sleep in the then-present year of 1992. They fight alongside their guardian beasts that take the form of prehistoric creatures against Witch Bandora who is seeking vengeance for the death of her son at the hands of the dinosaurs. She what is taking you so long, mortal? I'm here to witness your offering, not listen to you ramble. Why don't you talk about the figures? Now! Okay, okay, I'm on it. God. Anyway, that's the toy version of my namesake, the Greek god himself. From this point on, he will be judging me and every toy in my review. So, let's continue. Now, going back to this set, Inside the box, you will see a pack of six rangers without their hands, a pack with all 48 pairs of hands, a pack of all sidearms in three modes, and a few weapons. It also has a pack for the dragon armor, a pack for the other weapons, an instruction sheet, and some stickers. Personally, I like the body proportions of the figures. They're not the same as the figure arts version, but it's... Nice. At least for me. Each figure stands around 4 inches in height, ideal for 118 scale collectors. Each of the 6 rangers comes with 8 pairs of hands made of pliable plastic. Two pairs can allow each ranger to hold their unique weapon. Each of the main five rangers comes with their standard issue sidearm in three modes. The ranger stick, ranger gun, and ranger sword. Each of them also has two options for the holster in their belt. Meanwhile, Dragon Ranger comes with his removable dragon armor that can be worn by Tyranna Ranger as well. More on that later. Unfortunately, this set doesn't include the Thunder Slingers. And all of their weapons and even the Dino Bucklers in their belts are unpainted. That's what the fucking stickers are for! Now, let's have a closer look at each of the Rangers. But first, if you like what you've seen so far, Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Okay, let's go! go. 
First up is Tyranno Ranger Geki, the leader of the Zoo Rangers. He is the prince of the Yamato tribe, known to worship the Tyrannosaurus and Dragon Guardian Beasts. Here's his Ryugeki sword. Its handle fits above the Mothbreaker cannon. He also comes with swappable arm pieces with armbands for his armed Tyranno Ranger form. I don't mind his side profile, but the front view of his helmet looks a bit off, especially when compared to his helmet in the show. I don't have the same problem for the rest of the figures though. All male figures have the exact same body features, and all six have the same points of articulations as follows. Generally, each figure mostly has ball joints, with a few articulations being hinge and swivel joints. Each figure has a double ball jointed neck, ball jointed shoulders with hinge joints, bicep swivel joints, and elbow hinge joints. The wrists can swivel like this. The hand pegs, they're flexible. It also has diaphragm and waist ball joints. The back has a peg hole for a stand. The hips have ball joints and can be pulled down for a wider range of motion for the legs. The thighs have swivel joints and the knees have hinges. Lastly, it has ankle ball joints with a limited range of motion. That's it. Moving on, we have here Mammoth Ranger Goshi, the second in command. He is from the Sharma tribe known to worship the Mammoth Guardian Beast. Here is his Mothbreaker in Axe Mode and Cannon Mode for their team weapon. The Terra Arrow can be connected near its muzzle. Next up is Tricera Ranger Dan. He is a young warrior from the Etoff tribe known to worship the Triceratops Guardian Beast. Here's his Tricelands. They are separate pieces though, unlike in the show. They have pegs to connect them to the Terra Arrow for their team weapon. The fourth member is Tiger Ranger Boy, the youngest one of the team. He is from the Dime Tribe known to worship the Sabertooth Tiger Guardian Beast. Here are his Saber Daggers. They also have pegs for the Terra Arrow for their team weapon. To complete the main team, we have Terra Ranger Mei, the only female member of the team. She's a young archer from the Lithia tribe known to worship the Terranodon Guardian Beast. Here's her Terra Arrow, with no arrow by the way. It has peg holes for the Tricelands and Saber Daggers. Its handle fits near the Mothbreaker Cannon's muzzle. Being the only female, she has a unique torso. She has a thinner neck, and her arms are a bit shorter and thinner. She has shorter calves, and smaller feet as well. Most of the figures can wear the dragon armor, except her. For her skirt, here's the front piece and the back. They're made of flexible plastic and they don't constrict her leg movements that much. These pieces are removable. Now, let's talk about their combiner weapon called the Howling Cannon. As I said before, all weapons, holsters, and dino bucklers need stickers included in the set. But, if you don't want stickers in your set, like me, you can simply paint them however you want. After all, they have sculpted details to make painting easier. Also, just like in the show, 
all of the five main ranger's weapons can be combined to form the Howling Cannon this way. And we're done! Now, this is the Howling Cannon when assembled. And this is the main team with their combiner weapon. But wait! Did you hear that? Oh, I almost forgot! I still have one more ranger to cover. Our sixth hero is Dragon Ranger Burai. He is Geki's older brother and the first sixth ranger in the Super Sentai franchise. The oldest and strongest member of the Zoo Rangers, he can control the Dragon Guardian Beast. Here's his Zoo Soken. And two options for the sheet at the side of his belt. Before becoming an ally of the Zoo Rangers, he fought against them using the Devil Sword Helfried. Here's his dragon armor, considered as an important treasure in the Yamato tribe. That completes the Zoo Rangers. Let's move on to Tirana Rangers Power Up. But first, if you want to watch the whole series, I suggest skipping to the next part. Okay. You can skip now. Have you skipped it? Why are you not skipping? Anyway, let's continue. Near the end of the series, before Burai's death, Geki inherits the dragon armor and Zyu Soken from him. This gives him access to his power-up form called Armed Tyranna Ranger. This is how to assemble it. Now we're done! This is Armed Tyran Ranger in his full glory. There are two sticker options to place in Tyran Ranger's Dino Buckler in silver and gold. For size comparisons, here is Shadow Tyran Ranger beside the MMPR Retromorphin Red Ranger in my previous review, Soto Chronicle Ryuki, and his soft vinyl version, Marvel Universe Cyclops, and his latest Marvel Legends version, Power Rangers Lightning Collection Goldar, and finally, Toy Spirits Zeus, the god himself. Now, here are some close-up shots of the Zoo Rangers. Here are some shots with their individual weapons. Hi, Post Edit Zeus here. I have to be honest, I made a few mistakes in painting. Like, in this sword, this part above the cross guard that I painted red should have been the same color as the blade. I painted it like how I remember it, but realized too late how wrong I was. Mandela effect, I guess. As for the eyes in the ranger sticks, that's not Mandela Effect. I simply just forgot to paint them. If details like this bother you, I have to apologize. I'll check for accuracy next time. If it doesn't bother you though, let's move on. Here they are in their pose for the Babel attack. Now, here are some random pictures.
And here are the figures in Jojo poses if you're into that shit. Here are my final thoughts. Candy toys are supposed to be cheap, but I got mine for around 107 US dollars. For a six pack set? Not bad, I guess. My main complaint about this set is the paper stickers. Shodo Super figures always have them, but for this particular set, even the belts need stickers. Also, keep in mind that since the body is made of ABS plastic, it's prone to having stress marks as well. Of course, these are for adult collectors, so be gentle. Some joints in my figures became loose after a while. Honestly, it's kinda hard to make them hold their poses now. I guess it's because I post them a lot. Another disappointment I had is the paint defect in my copy of Tyranna Ranger. I had no way of checking this before buying. And it's in the helmet of all places. I tried my best to repaint it by hand. And it looks like this today. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this set, Zeus? Hmm. I must say, mortal, it is a worthy offering. So I'll take it. There you have it. The god has spoken. As for me, overall, despite the quality, price, and rarity as of the upload of this video, this set of figures deserves a spot in your collection whether you're a Super Sentai or a Power Rangers fan. Anyway, that's it. What do you think about these figures? Let me know in the comments below. After this, I'll be posting mostly short videos of other toys before I make a full video about Bandai Namco's Super Minipla Daizujin. I think I have to hand paint its parts though, so it might take a while. In the meantime, I'll talk about something else in another video. Stay tuned for that. For now, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.